For more information on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com. YouTube.com slash channels web has videos of our shows. President-elect of Guinea-Bissau, Omaro Sisiko Mbalo, sees Nigeria as a rallying point for African countries and is convinced the country is playing that role well. Uh, his words when he visited, uh, made a thank you visit to President Buhari in Abuja earlier today. The president-elect was the Prime Minister of Guinea-Bissau under incumbent President Jose Mario Vaz between 2016 and 2018, founded the Movement for Democratic Alternative, Madam G15, on which platform he won the December 29th rerun. They give me good advice. You know, President Bori is uh, somebody who all of us will respect in Africa. And I keep his advice. Is why he's the first, one of the first country I visit here to take his advice. Because you, we know President Bori. We respect him a lot in Africa because he's a great man, gentleman, and uh, uh, Pan-Africanist man. That's why I'm here. I am his son. So don't forget, President Bwari, I can't keep, call him President Bwari. I already tell him, I'm going to still keep calling him Baba. The Nassau State's Governor Abdullahi Sule is concerned about the state's poor economy, which has a gross domestic product of 5%. The reason behind the creation of a medium-term economic blueprint tagged the Nassau Economic Development Strategy, the NEDS. The strategy, according to him, is a guide which will propel the state to be among the top three most competitive states in Nigeria by 2023. Our correspondent, Halima Gayam, has more. Nasarawa State, North Central Nigeria, is endowed with abundant solid minerals, rich agricultural and tourism potentials, yet its economy is said to be a struggling one. Worried by this, Governor Abdullah Isule developed the Nasarawa Economic Development Strategy, a document anchored on the Economic Recovery Growth Plan of the Federal Government and the Sustainable Development Goals. Concentrated on five game changers, four reform areas and nine focus sectors, the aim is to make the state among top three most competitive states in Nigeria by 2023. The Special Advisor on Investment and Economic Planning highlights the focal points of the blueprint. NEDS represents the vision for a new Nasara state. There is no society that can develop and uh, improve the lives of uh, its residents and its people without opening up the market, encouraging market competition, and providing for government to provide the key enablers while the private sector drives the economy. Actualization of the NEDS is linked to implementation, and the governor inaugurates an independent economic and investment advisory council to drive the plan. And the truth of the matter, Your Excellency, is that if we do not get it right on education, everything that we do would fail. And therefore, we must put a lot of emphasis on the education sector. A 7.5 GDP growth rate is targeted in the next four years, with the governor emphasizing new initiatives to drive investments. The government will establish a one-stop shop, special purpose vehicle SPV, to process, regulate, manage, and also drive our investment initiatives. The NEDS, which will be the foundation of all government actions in the next four years, represents a vision of new Nasarawa that hopes to see accelerated economic growth and wealth creation for the people. Halima Gayam, Channels Television News. Before the end of 2019, almost all of Nigeria's 36 states had presented their 2020 budgets to their Houses of Assembly for approval. Analysts and economists say that the effective implementation of the budgets of the 36 states is a necessary ingredient for Nigerians to taste progress. 
But how realistic are the budgets that have been presented and how much impact will they have on the nation's overall growth? To discuss the 2020 budget of the states tonight is Babajido Gusowo, Channels TV Data and Information Consultant. And I don't believe we have seen this year, have we? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. And we have... Uh... A new partner that will We're be with kicking us. off discussions tonight, aren't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> and we'll have this all through with us in 20, 2020. Oh, okay. All right. That's new. Uh, so I know you want to talk about, you know, the budgets, the 10.5 trillion era budget. But first of all, I know you heard, um, well, you watched, you listened, you read President Mahmoud Buhari's New Year message. You do have some insights on that, right? Oh, yes. There are three things that I would like to talk about tonight. The first is to look at the favorite word of the president. Mm. The second is to look at those, that, um, which of the 36 states are budgeting in trillions. And finally, we then need to look at that. If the budget were a penalty kick, was it over the bar? Did it hit the bar? Was it a goal? But let's quickly start with the favorite word of the president. So if we take a look at the New Year message from the president, here's what you'll notice in 2020. The word that was most used by the president is security. Now, if we focus carefully on that new year message and we take a look at it, mm. we'll see that Boko Haram security was used nine times in this um, new year message. Oh. Jobs, employment, only two mentions, and corruption, three mentions. For the first time, the president used the word health in his new year message. Now, what does all of this mean? We've seen five new year messages from the president. And if you focus on what is in front of you, Here's the summary. In all five New Year messages, the most used word by the president is Boko Haram and security. 25 mentions in all those five New Year messages. That lets us know what is on the mind of the president. Mm. The second most used word, if we focus on that, is jobs and employment. And then third is corruption. Seven mentions of corruption across all New Year messages. Only five mentions of infrastructure and only one mention of health. In summary, what we should expect is what is on the president's mind. And from the New Year message, we clearly see what is on the, president mind, on the president's mind. And we know that is what it will focus on in 2020. Yeah, and I'm sure security is also in the minds of many Nigerians too. I mean, that's the concern. Much of our stories tonight have been on security, whether it's in the Northeast or it is in the North in, in general. But the budget now, uh, that of the 36 states, are larger, are they larger than the federal budgets? In one word, no. Let's take a quick look at the regional budget of all the states. And let's look at it from the regional perspective, the six regions. And what we have is... From the Northwest, in 2019, they had a budget of 1.2 trillion naira. Mm. In 2020, that budget has moved from 1.2 trillion naira to 1.4 trillion naira. The growth has come from Kaduna, Katsina, Sokoto, and Zamfara states. Quickly to the North Central, we've seen a growth of um, some billions in the North budget of the North Central. That growth has come from an increase from Kogi, Plato, Nasrao, and Kwara states. In the Northeast, we've seen last year's budget of 948 billion naira for the six states in the Northeast has grown to a 937 billion naira. But so that's a decline. That decline is because of lower budgets from Bono, Bauchi, and Adamawa states. In the Southwest, we've seen a 2020 budget of all the six states in the Southwest of 2.3 trillion naira. We've seen higher budgets in 2020 from Lagos, Oyo, and Ogun states. In the South, South, we've seen a simple, a simple increase in the budget of the South-South from 2.7 to 2.8 trillion naira. River State has the highest growth of 10%. Mm. And the Southeast, we've seen a decline in the budget of, of the Southeast. In summary, all the states in the Southeast have budgeted lower figures in their 2020 budget, excluding Enugu State. In the summary, we've seen that last year, the states, the 36 states, had a budget of 8.6 trillion naira. In the 2020 budget, that is 9.7 trillion naira. Initially, you think that's yeah. some good news. But here's what we need to be concerned about. That's only a 7% nominal growth. And whenever you have a 7% nominal, nominal growth, when inflation is 11%, it means in real terms, the budget has declined by 4%. So we need to be concerned. Because For what we see is we see right? in, all, in all of the country, we've mm -hmm. seen 
a budget growth in nominal terms, but what is most important is the real growth, and we've seen a decline because of inflation. Now, measure that budget against <coughs> real growth that we should expect in 2020. What do you see? If we want to look at real growth, we need to look at the, the 10 states that have the highest budget, because here's what you notice. Out of all this 36 states, only 10 states account for half of the budget. So we're looking at Lagos, Oyo, Ogun State, Rivers, Delta, Aquaibum, Cross River State, Katsina and Kaduna State, and Taraba State. So only these 10 states account for half of the budget. And if we're going to most likely see a lot of impact, if these states are able to implement these budgets and not just budget high numbers. For instance, we have Cross River State with a budget of over one trillion, even though the evidence shows that from their internally generated revenue and the federal allocation all of last year, they earned less than 100 billion. So some of these budgets are realistic, but some of these budgets as well are just high assumptions that the states have shown their intent, but will they be able to back them up with expenditure? Most likely not. Sounds like you're saying those budgets are quite ambitious. Oh, yes, they are, they, are, they are quite ambitious. You know, a friend of mine, a wise man, once said, in 2020, you should not cut your coat according to your brother's size. <laughs> but you know, in the final analysis, if the budget of the 36 states were to be a penalty kick, here's what Nigerians are asking. Is mm -hmm. it a goal? Did it hit the bar or mm -hmm. was it over the bar? And let's look at that quickly. The 36, budget, the 36 states budget, from the analysis we've seen tonight, it's over the bar. And that's because the real growth is negative. Yes, in nominal terms, we've seen a higher growth, but because of inflation, the state's budget of 2020 is lower than what it was in 2019. So it's over the bar for all the 36 states combined in 2020. And maybe the state governors should learn how to play football and learn the rules properly. That might help, you know, when you're trying to... That's my help, but Nigerians want the states to score this penalty. We shouldn't be shooting the ball... Over the, bar. Over the bar. Definitely. Need to learn to play the game properly. Babajide, thank you again for being with us on the News at 10. It's great to see you in 2020. It's going to be a beautiful year of football it this year. It will. It will. It will. Thanks for showing up.